of all the weird places I fish, I usually find that going under bridges are some of the weirder places. Just there's weird things. And it, what a better way to celebrate fishing in weird places than to fish with some weird lures. And I got, I picked out a good handful today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick out the strangest, weirdest, or maybe most unusual looking, swimming, I don't know, just crazy, weird lures. What's up first? Check it out. Oh, that's right. We got this absolute monster of a snake. I've only caught one fish on this and it was about the size of this snake. But today I wanna to get it out and see on this nice cloudy day if we can get some top water smallies. Okay, something very interesting to note on this snake. They've actually got two places to tie in. You can do the traditional right down by the bill where you've got your split ring, or you've got this one right under his chin. And I've noticed if you tie in under the chin, which is what I did this time, it'll actually swim just under the surface like a wake bait. But if you swim it back here, it's gonna swim more like a top water. So depending on where you tie it, you can adjust the, the type of swim it has, which is pretty, pretty key. And it's something I didn't figure out until just trying it out. So I'm actually gonna keep it in that like wake bake sort of, uh, I keep saying wake bake. That's not a Freudian slip, trust me. <laughs> the wake bait position. The thing about this lure is that it is really heavy. And so it makes a freaking splash when you cast it. Oh my gosh, second cast. What just bit this thing? You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Did this really happen? Dude, you're not even as big as the snake. Well, it'll catch fish that couldn't even swallow it if it tried. What, bro, what are you doing? Hey, for being the king, good job. Wow. Here's the thing with the snake. And yeah, I'm taking them off. We threw them for another half hour and no bites. Uh, a couple swipes at him, but he's just so giant. I feel like, <laughs> it, I feel like he's like making a cannonball splash every time he hits the water. And uh, you know, he requires a day of like, you know, three or four hours of just throwing him because sooner or later, a big giant fish is gonna come up and attack him. But not tonight. I think I'm gonna throw on, you know what, we had one, one first cast love on the hula grub. Let's tie the hula grub back on. Bait that brought me to one of my sponsors, which is Breaking Bass LLC. It's the hula grub. And it's a skirted dual tail grub that's about four inches in total length. It's so it's a nice big chunky grub. And it's just, it's just cool and unique looking. I've never seen this double tail skirted grub before in this size. So that's number four in our weird lure challenge. Oh, there we go. Wow, first cast on the hula grub. Come on. Let me tell you, that thing is a beast. Wow, way to get that job done, buddy. <laughs> well, do they like the hula grub? I think they do. That skirt uh, makes all the difference, I assume. That's cool. I even had it rigged up on a Ned rig just in case we needed to pause it, but we did not. It immediately came out and uh, crunched it. Thank you, buddy. Well, you didn't give me much time with the old hula grub. And for that challenge, it's a good thing, right? Strange bait number two is kind of a classic, but they've updated it. It's the Jitterbug 2.0. So it's, it's jointed, segmented. It's got this bright, colorful tail. It's got a wild paint job, and it's got that crazy wiggly wobbly action and uh, it's I mean it's a it's a bait that's been around for half a century but it's got an updated look to it now and so that is bait number two on the weird lore challenge there we go there we go big old smallie sitting right there in the rapids yes sir get your butt over here <laughs> on the jitterbug look at that oh man his sin seen better days 
Looks like a bird took a big chunk out of him. Well, look at that. Weird lure number two. That's the fish we were looking for. I thought this is what would eat the snake. Wow. Well, it took us about a half an hour of oh, casting around. But well, man, he ate that right before it came out of the water. He must have followed it up into the rapids. Nicely done. All right, let's get him back and uh, let's move on. Hey. Now, bait number three is, is uh, it's not strange per se. It is a cool, weird bug. It's the Elgramite from Yum. And uh, the reason I put this in is because they, they made a really strange wild color. It's the bubblegum lemon swirl uh, in, the, in the Yum uh, Helgramite. And it just looks so cool that I think that it deserves to be in the, in the unique, weird lure challenge. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. Saw him running with it. What do we got? Ooh, catapulted. A little smally. Bud. Bud. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> okay, wow. A feisty little small jaw <laughs> on the uh, the old bubblegum swirl Helgramite. Nicely done. Sorry to have flung him. Okay, so bait number five in the uh, Unique Baits Challenge is, uh, is a bait, it's a crawl by 5AM Fishing. And uh, they sent me uh, just a, a handful of them for, for free. And so thank you guys for doing that. And uh, I've yet to get out and throw it. And today I thought would be the perfect challenge because it's a different looking crawl. I've never seen a crawl with like these pyramid shaped uh, claws and they float very, very well. So I guess there's some high salt content in it or maybe a different plastic. I don't know what they're doing to it, but it's a cool and unique looking crawl that I've never seen replicated really anywhere. And so let's see if we can get it, get it a uh, bit today. The, uh, the fish seem like on this nice cloudy day that they're pretty active. So let's get this in the water and see if we can get this bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, on the 5 a.m. fishing crawl. Another unique lure, uniquely snacked on. Thank you, buddy. I was actually been toying with the uh, with a green sunfish right around here. I'll, I'll show you, I was just playing around with him. I figured, let's go in, maybe he's hiding back there, I can catch the green sunfish. Well, no, we had a nice little smallie sitting back there who snacked that bad boy up. That's awesome. Feisty. There we go. There we go. Small jaw. On that hula grubski. Thank you, buddy. Well, you gotta love a unique lure, and I'm telling you what, the uh, the hula grub is certainly that. Two legs, big old, big old grub, four inch grub, and then that nice skirting. I actually put mine on a Ned rig so I can stop it and pop it if I want, or just straight retrieve. Well, what a weird, unique day, and I, th I, I call it a success. We caught about, uh, what, I don't know, 75% of what we brought out, we caught something on. And uh, yeah, it was a fun day just to come out and catch uh, whatever we could on the weirdest stuff that I have in my tackle. Lost a couple, that sucks, but uh, hey, that's the nature of cool, unique finds. You know, you go to these like conventions and uh, you go to like expos and fishing conventions and you find these cool lures that people make or people that make them online, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and you buy these cool, unique lures and try them out. And you gotta throw them like you're not afraid to lose them. I always say when people, get one of my little uh, scorpion caterpillars it's like it's so pretty it's so cool i don't want to throw it like i'll get you another one just throw it catch some fish on it have fun that's what it's all about
Thanks for hanging out on this weird, unique day, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next Fish and Mission.